More than ever before, Nigerians are clamoring for the deportation of illegal immigrants due to the high level of insecurity and the shrinking economy. The report says more Nigerians are looking for jobs, but few Nigerians are finding them. Nigeria's employment crisis may have worsened in recent times. Nigeria's inflation rate has hit its highest in eight months. I'm a graduate with a BSc. I'm on the streets. It's 3.50 p.m. at the bus terminal in Lagos. Jamu, the bus driver, instructs the conductor to gather money from four illegal immigrants. This money will be used to bribe immigration officers along the way. There are speculations that Boko Haram terrorists are bringing in people from neighboring countries to attack Nigerians. In a bid to track how illegal immigrants navigate Nigeria's highways, we sent our reporter, Ibrahim, undercover for two weeks. What he found was an elaborate ring of cash for pass run by immigration officers, Nigerian military and police. I traveled, I came out of home without any single ID card. So all my travels, the four-way trip, I didn't go out with any identity card. So I had no evidence that I was a Nigerian, and I was only speaking Pidgin, I did not speak any Nigerian language. this one Shortly after, the journey to Sokoto from Lagos begins. The driver passes through a number of immigration checkpoints on the road, bribing the officers on behalf of the illegal immigrants. Immigration officers are extorting illegal immigrants and allowing them to go to move freely on our highways by just collecting peanut bribes. By the time the bus arrives at Kebi State Immigration Patrol checkpoint, we have already spent 2,000 naira at three different stops. The driver decides to try something different and instead offers 1,500 naira. The officer is beginning to get irritated. He insists on 3,000 naira and continues to threaten the migrants. A checkpoint. Each illegal immigrant pays 200 naira to pass from one checkpoint to another and to move in and out of the country. You know, 
So in my first trip, we had four illegal immigrants. And each of them, per checkpoint, pays 20 naira. So approximately, they paid 1,000 naira per checkpoint. So at least 1,000 naira per checkpoint is paid. A reporter sees the same thing over and over again. Immigration officers participating in cash for pass and abuse of their duties. West African citizens who come can, can move freely in West African countries. But that does not imply that they shouldn't have required documents to stay in the country. You know, they, they need to show us where they are coming from. You know, they need to always show officers of the immigration service that, okay, they are from this particular country so that they will be documented. So that is why any person who does not acquire, any immigrant who does not acquire such documents are called undocumented immigrants. Business Day reached out to the spokesperson for the Nigerian Immigration Service, Mr. Sunday James. That means you're not current. What about the recent arrests made? We believe only in evidence-based journalism. Since you said you're an eyewitness, send me the evidence so that we can go there and arrest them. Well, Mr. James, here you have your evidence.